Hi guys. Throughout this entire series, we've been talking about symbols and we've been talking about what are the signs of everything, such as Om denotes something, the swastik symbol denotes something. And in that same vein, what do you think is the denotion of the word divinity? Now, if we take a look at the 14th chapter in the Bhagavad Gita, we find a very small verse that denotes the answer to that particular question. It says that all manifestations such as human beings, animals, plants, birds, trees, all these existential manifestations that are classified as living beings all emerge from one supreme soul. Now we can't say that the supreme soul is the Lord. We can't say that the supreme soul is a force, but it is an entity that gives life to all living beings in the world. And below that very verse in the 14th chapter, there is another interesting line that says that all happenings in this world is the playing of the infinite on the finite. Now, what do we mean by that? The playing of the infinite. Now, if we have to take a resemblance of that in the modern world, there is one very key word that goes in line with that propaganda. Look around the world that we live in, the modern world, everything that we read, everything that we see, the kind of TV shows and the movies that we watch, the kind of education that we receive, the kind of facilities that we are entitled to and the kind of facilities that we need as human beings are all these just a coincidence that is happening to us or is something just pre-planned. You know, when we take a look at human survival nature, there are two things that every human being needs in order to function properly in their day-to-day -day life. And those are entertainment and education. Now, the reason I say entertainment here is because uh, within your entertainment, all human desires come into play, such as your financial desires or such as your emotional desires or physical desires, all your needs and wants in order for you as a person to be entertained and satisfied. Second, education. Every human being wants to know that little more. That is why we feel sometimes that we want to know a little bit more about another person's life than try to find something among our own. So this education and entertainment that is required as a need for every human being. Imagine if someone controls that in your life. Someone has a say of what you get educated with and what is your entertainment. It simply means that they have a control of you. So here, the reason I bring this example is not to create a chaos in the society by saying that we are all living in a land of some sort of Western definition of the Illuminati, where we say that everything that we see and everything that we receive has an hidden agenda. But what I'm trying to say here is, just like how it is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, that all living beings are going in the same lane, but with some infinite being having a superior control of all living beings. Now, what can we do in order to realize this? See, when, when as human beings, we live in a land that is filled with desires, we run for those desires and the satisfaction of those. So these desires are placed in our life in order to forget the bigger picture of what we need to do in order to overcome them. Now, this is something that is being explored in detail in Western mythology, especially the Greek philosophies, where they say that if every ruler of the world is a philosopher, they would ensure that the society is desire free because when the society has desires, they are compelled to live under someone else's terms. 
Now we are all living in a democratic country. India is a democratic country. But are we making our decisions out of our own free will? That is the question that Bhagavad Gita chapter 14 is asking us. We have a lot of superstitions, a lot of agendas. Now for the sake of this video, we can even say that Kalki Avatar is going to come and clean the world. Is there going to be another apocalypse that is going to clean the world? Or is it something that we have to realize from within? Now, when we have certain desires, we need an external force to satisfy them. So we are becoming a slave, not to that external force, but to our desires. And hence, that external force is just an object to which we are a slave to. Now, that is the point of this entire video, where we ask, what is the real need of you to understand who in reality a human being is and how we can reach the full potential of that human force. And that's a wrap for this particular video and the first leg of the 14th chapter. And I would see you guys in the next episode. And of course, thank you for watching.